what's up guys back with another video today we're gonna be breaking veracrypt encryption using hashcat let's get to it so if you don't know veracrypt is a free open source disk encryption software for windows mac and linux if you're old enough to remember it used to be truecrypt once it was picked up by veracrypt on version 7.1 and we'll be using hashcat to break the encryption and recover the key so this is very useful if you've forgotten the key or if you stumbled upon an encrypted disk that you need to recover the passwords for so you can get hashcat right there from hashcat.net of course you're going to want to use your gpu to decrypt it since it's much faster than just using a processor now requirements we'll need hashcat of course so i'll be doing the whole video on windows so it's easier for you guys to follow but usually you would extract the key probably on a Linux Live USB and then you'd proceed to decrypt it on a dedicated machine with a GPU. And you need of course Hashcat, DD for Windows. If you're on Linux, you're already gonna have DD installed by default so you don't need to download anything extra. Now let's jump into it and see how it's done. The first thing I'm gonna do is let me create a folder called encrypted and let's open veracrypt and let's create an encrypted container inside of that folder so here we have veracrypt let's hit create volume we'll do a standard encrypted file container standard veracrypt volume now let's select the file so desktop encrypted and we can call it target there we go let's hit next I'm just gonna go with the standard encryption algorithm here now for decryption you need a different uh, brute force mode for each encryption algorithm and hash algorithm so you want to be sure that you know which ones you're trying to recover the password for let's hit next size i'll do a small one 128 megabytes should be good let's hit next and the password will do 9898 i'm gonna keep it a short password for the purpose of this video yep i know it's an easy passcode all right let's generate the random data format and done all right, cool. The volume's created. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it here on letter M just so you guys can see that it works. So desktop, encrypted, target, and let's mount. Passcode 9898. There we have it. So we mounted the drive successfully. That means if we wanted to store any encrypted data, we could just go ahead and put it right there on drive M. But let me go ahead and dismount it. And now we're gonna get into the interesting stuff. All right, now that we dismounted the drive, let's see how we're gonna approach recovering this password. So you're gonna need DD for Windows. Make sure you download it and extract it into a preferable directory. Now here on the frequently asked questions, you can find pretty much all the instructions needed to recover the passcode, whether it's a hidden volume, whether it's a boot volume or whatever the case may be. So you can see that I'm looking at the true crypt directions and that's because it's the same project. So it follows the same directions. Now here it gives you the rules and these are the rules to extract the hash from the encrypted volume. So this direction is for the boot volume, not what we're looking for. This is for a hidden partition. So in all other cases, you need the first 512 bytes of the file or partition. So you can see there's different directions for whatever volume you're using. So all we have to do is extract the first 512 bytes from that encrypted file and we should get the key that we can use to feed it to Hashcat. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, now that we're inside the DD directory, we're gonna run the following command. DD exe. So the input will be encrypted target and the output will be encrypted target hash key and then we're gonna do the first 512 bytes and the count will be one so this command right here should extract the hash for us all right let's open this folder there we go we can see it generated the target hash let me hover over it here and you can see it's exactly 512 bytes awesome so this is the hash that we need to brute force now let's go into the hash cat i have it extracted to my desktop as well and let's run the command to brute force it so we're gonna do hashcat.exe brute force mode will be three now actually before we run this let me pull up the help menu There we go, here you can see all the hashcat options. I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of the basic ones. You can see, for example, the workload profiles. I usually like to run it on low to keep the temperatures nice and cool. Uh, and this, of course, is for, you know, GPU, CPU, whatever it is that you're using. And then there's the different char sets. But what we're looking for is this right here. This table has the codes for recovering the passwords and if you remember we used AES 512 with SHA 512 so that's going to be the standard for Veracrypt and I believe TrueCrypt as well and the one that we're looking for will be this one right here so Veracrypt SHA 512 and XTS 512 so we can copy this code over here since that's the one we'll be using now of course you can see there's a variety of other codes here related to the boot mode and so on so depending on what you're trying to decrypt you might have to play with these until you find the correct one now let's go back and run the decryption so three and then we'll do work profile one and then we'll put in the mode for decryption which is the one we just looked up now we have to locate the decryption file so it's on encrypted target hash.tc we have to put in the hash that we extracted using dd and finally we have to put the mask we want to use to brute force it so if you remember i used a four digit numerical for the purpose of this video of course you could do a word list you could do a hybrid cracking i'm just gonna go ahead and do a four digit numerical value here so that would be uh question mark d d d d and this is it this is the command that should be able to recover a passcode let's go ahead and run it and see how long it takes all right there we go we cracked the hash so you can see once it finishes it's going to give you this output over here that is the hash and the directory right there this is the passcode that was used to encrypt it and it will give you the session results so you can see here it says cracked it says that the hash name is indeed veracrypt sha 512 and then it tells you how long it took so you can see it gives you the timestamp right there so it took about four minutes and 29 seconds this is the math that we used so four numerical digits of course you can use a word list you could use a hybrid 
you can also add salt to it whatever the case may be and needless to say if you add more processing power more gpus maybe you have two three four gpus working on this and you probably lower this time down to like a minute or less for a four digit numerical passcode i know this is not ideal like nobody's gonna actually use four digits to encrypt it but using word list and using more processing power you can increase this so that's it for this video hope you guys liked it and if you guys want more on this hashcat stuff or encryption decryption in general let me know below make sure to like the video and i'll see you guys next time